previously on New Crits on the Block. You are almost at the top of Mount Hood now. You now stand in front of Grax. He stands with white eyes staring at you aimlessly. Grax is going to take the fire sword, plunge it into the ground around him, giving him a fire aura. Katan, you see Grax's mouth open and you hear a voice, but not his own. And while the voice is speaking, his mouth does not move. Ah, you're all finally here. As you hear Philippa's voice emit from Grax. Here, Philippa's voice continue to uh, emit out of Grax's mouth. You shut your snout. Snapper. Already fucked it up. Snoot. <laughs> shut your snoot. <laughs> no, it's Snapper. I like Snapper. You hear the, the voice once again. So, you've decided to truly go against me, Katan. Well, yeah. <laughs> Was that not apparent? I was just hoping I didn't have to kill all of you. You don't care about that. There's, there's absolutely no way. I mean, you're trying to destroy the world. Ergo, you're going to kill all of us. I'm not destroying the world. Simply putting it under my thumb. Yeah, listen... No, it was a, clearly we were going to oppose you. Let Grax go. And then we can come deal with you. (laughs) Is there any chance we're going to defeat you? Or are you just like absolutely certain they're just going to crush us? Well, considering that I'm almost done consuming Fuma's essence. I would say that there's little chance that you'll live. Great. Then just let Grax go. We'll send him packing. We'll come up. You can kill us so very quickly because you're so powerful. And then you can be over with this. Oh, well, that's the problem right there. I already let Grax go. What you're facing isn't Grax. I mean, it's his body, sure. But he checked out a long time ago. As, as this is happening, I reach up and I, I like, I snap in front of his eyes, like. Uh, there is no response. Yeah, so just, like, deanimate him or whatever. No, I don't think I'll do that. I would like to finish this process in peace. And honestly, if... He kills you. You're all just more of an annoyance than anything right now. So it's more of a fly swat killing off a bug. Big words for someone hiding behind a dragon snoot. We'll see. Why don't you come out of, out of, out of there as I'm pointing inside of his mouth and come (laughs) fight us. Are you sure you want to face Grax and me at the same time, Katan? No, let him go and you come fight us. You're just stalling. There's nothing to You know you go. can't beat us. You're so high up in the sky. How can you hear this? <laughs> also, it's a pretty really loud speaker. Hearing. It's really, it's a really loud speaker. Yeah. How do you fit inside of him anyway? I'm, as I like look inside of his mouth. God damn it, Katan. I'm not actually inside of him. I'm control. He's like a puppet. Well, then how are you speaking out of him? Because I'm controlling him from a distance. Have you ever seen like a remote control car? <laughs> are you a actually what? in the car? Probably not. A what? <laughs> <laughs> What's a car? <laughs> a remote or control. Or a remote control for that matter. Uh, you see... Uh, 
or a loudspeaker. Helium has definitely had a controller of some sort. Oh, I killed him. That well, was sense. so, so enjoyable. A1, I never really thank you properly for that. You're welcome. Um, anyway, uh, so Grax is gone. His, his, his soul and all that, this is, he's, he's done. This is just basically like a zombie. You could say that. Okay, everybody kill him. <laughs> or end him. I don't know quite what that means. And don't worry, once he's finished with you, you'll all be my puppets as well. No. Nah. No. Nah. I, I, I ain't nobody's puppet. No. Nah. Really? Because you seem to play in the hands of Kerrigan quite well, Boral. Yeah, did you see when I killed him? Did you see that? Yes, he was honestly also kind of a, a nuisance. He thought he was in charge of himself. So thank you for that. I was going to have to kill him eventually anyway. Yeah, yeah, but, but, I, but I'm not a puppet is my point. Okay, just ignore the, the original point then. Fine, that's fine. Whatever, don't care. I'm You're not a puppet. All I'm not puppets. your puppet. You've been playing into glaces and now my hands... We are on our way to kill you. You haven't stopped anything. Like, we are here. We're going to get through Grax, and then we're coming after you. You haven't done anything. We'll see. I'm going to go now, though, because I have No, other- wait, this is cool things to do. Good luck though. Um, If you do live through Grax, I'll be seeing you soon. And uh, Grax's mouth shuts close and then we go over to Awen. It's like like a a snap. It's like, chomp. Yeah, it's a snapper. (laughs) (laughs) How was his dental hygiene, by the way? Not great. It was pretty smelly when you were, you put your head in there. Yeah. You can tell he definitely does not eat cooked food. It's some raw meat. You saw a little bit of a like flesh inside of his uh, mouth that yep. has been there for a while. It's actually the color of your dad's hair. Oh, oh, there's a little piece of little piece of daddy hair in there. We it's never still, was so many years this. ago. My dad was a bald. <laughs> he had hair on his chest though, and that you could t- you could tell that chest hair from anywhere. <laughs> That's. I don't want to know why I know my yeah. father's chest hair so <laughs> intimately. <laughs> He's a farm worker. You know how those guys work without their shirts on all the time. It's hot. Outside. Whose turn is it? It's my turn. turn. I just said it. Yes. So I am going to cast Swift Quiver. On myself. Ooh, the swiftiest of quivers. Is a bonus action. So I transmute my quiver so it produces an endless supply of non-magical ammunition, which seems to leap into my hand whenever I reach for it on each of my turns until the spells end. When I use a bonus action to make two, I can use a bonus action to make two more attacks, basically. So I can't use it this turn since that was the bonus action, which is such a yeah. dumb spell, but I still get two attacks regardless. Okay. And so that is what I will do with advantage. <laughs> oh, wow. Same roll. Uh, 22 to hit for the first one. That hits. Okay. Second attack. Ooh, I was almost on that 20. 28 or uh, 20. So 28 to hit as well. That also hits. Okay. So there's a better roll. There we go. Okay, so 41 damage total. Oh, nice. Yeah, I rolled eight, 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 four, and one. <laughs> so not bad. That's really good. Not bad. 41 damage. As I still plink, plink. I'm just plinking. Just plinking them from up there. Okay, yeah. Uh, so from the sky, you shoot off another two uh, force arrows. They go flying down. Uh, stabbing into his shoulders as again, you can kind of see him like uh, get pushed back from both of the bolts, kind of uh, getting shoved into the ground as you see the ground underneath him kind of get cracked underneath his uh, feet. Mm-hmm. Um, 
then we go over to uh, Boral. Boral, what would you like to do? Um, hmm. I am going to cast Lightning Bolt, lightning at, bolt. at this man's. I assume I don't need to read this. Uh, I think everyone knows what lightning bolt yeah, is. Yeah, at, at this point, yeah. yes. <laughs> you also, did, you also so. just said at this man's and then you didn't say anything. Well, he, it's just a way of, yeah, it's slang, Ben. You wouldn't get it. <laughs> yeah, Ben. For cool people to say. Yeah, that's for cool people. Slang. You're not hip with the kid. You don't get it. You're not, you're not down bad with the slang. Oh, I don't know if that's the right terminology. It's because I'm hip. Roll a deck save. <laughs> Roll a deck save? Okay. Mm -hmm. That is a 20, not nat. Motherfuck. Okay, he saved. He takes uh, 17 points of damage. With that, we are going to take a legendary action before his turn, obviously. Uh, he is just going to make a strike at Catan. That is a 28 to hit. Uh, Catan uses another uh, uh, level one shield spell. Uh, which um, raises his AC to 31. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm loving uh, what I gave you guys. This is really working out well for me. Don't Thank forget, he's got my plus three to AC. Oh, that, that's in, that is including that. That is okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jake, I could make my AC even higher if I wish to. I know you can. Uh, yeah. It is his turn now. Um, he is going to take one attack at you. Good luck. <laughs> it's 30, but you're, it's one underneath you. Um, okay. So he doesn't hit for his first attack. Uh, so he goes and swings his spear at you as again, you bring up your shield with this eldritch power kind of, uh, reflecting the blow. You see him look towards leaf and he is going to dart towards her. Uh, letting you get, um, oh, you don't get an opportunity of attack because you took a reaction already. Um, right. So what? he no, is because I use my shield, so I can't. I can't. Oh, what? He is going to run towards Leaf and okay. strike at her with his sword that is on fire. And I can't use Sonaray's aiding light because I used a reaction. That is gonna be. You're on your own. to hit. A what? 25 to hit. That will hit. 17 points of fire damage and seven points of slashing damage. Well, then I'll take all of that, I guess. 25, you said? Yeah, 25. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> that really hurts. Um, as he runs uh, towards Leaf, uh, slashing into these vines as the vines start to burn away as he cuts directly where you're at in the mech and like cuts into uh, like slashes across your torso. Uh, no, he got through my vine hole. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, Katan, it is your turn. Uh, Christy, concentration check. Let's see if I can still have advantage on him. Uh, yeah, because you have to roll higher than a 12. You got this? 20, baby, not that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Don't worry. He's still purple. Uh. <laughs> uh, so Catan uh, gets, um, he, he turns uh, with his deft uh, agility, uh, just spins on his heel as a... Mm. Grax leaves. Um, just but just not enough time to save Leaf. Oh, what are the chances? Hey! Um, he timed it out. You know he did. <laughs> but I, I turn take my flowers and back. <laughs> I do turn and, and uh, face him. Uh, as a bonus action, uh, Catan says, uh, I Sova. Oh, I'm sorry. That doesn't work. Oh, right. Sorry. Uh, Frost Ova. Ah, there it is. Uh, and proceeds to uh, activate his his uh, his Ice Titan abilities. Uh, and then he uses the ability Glacial Radiance. So a 20-foot radiance, and I'm going to make sure that Leaf is in range. 
of this. I assume that no matter what she is, because if I'm within range of him... Yeah, he'd be like 10 feet away from Exactly, yeah. So, ideal 5d8 ice damage to um, to Grax. Uh, So, let's just do that real quick. I know he has resistance to ice, but still, it just happens. So, 5d8, 14 damage to him, assuming that he has resistance to ice. But more importantly, I grant... 5d8 temporary hp it just says to allies i assume allies within range yeah sure so leaf and i get 5d8 temporary hp and here's that roll 17 ugh, 18 all right well we get 18 temporary (laughs) hp so um that kind of like you don't really add it to your max hp you actually have a temp hp box on there but basically just know that you have Great. I, I've changed my sheet I, to look different. I also have a question on my, so sorry, just because I've never used the defensive part of my my special ability. I have passive healing of 1d4. How does passive healing work? What do I, uh, what do I, I like? I think it's it would be at the start I of the I, person's turn inside of there. So you would just do 1d4 uh, on your turn to have risen your, your thing. I didn't take that last turn though. Should I have done that? Uh, yeah. Not to Katana slow things down, would've... but- can I just take two next time or should I just do it real quick? Uh, you just take two next time. And then you would all okay. you would roll it and it would also apply to anyone else inside of your... Um, oh, so then so maybe I, I would should also do get, at least... I would also get 2d4 HP? You would just, whatever she rolls, it goes to anyone that's in that 30-foot zone. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So why don't I just roll one now from the last turn fine. so that that's, that's in there? Yeah, you do that. And then, okay. So my d4 now will be... Go ahead and add a three to your... All right. Regular hit points. I have been within three HP of being unconscious, so. Yes, uh, it makes that, a difference before next does. turn. I just, that's <laughs> I'm like, we should probably add it now, just in case. I'll yeah. remember to do that on my next turn, though, now that I one know One HP is works. a lot of health when you have one, when you have zero HP. Yeah. Um, okay. So I activated my frost over ice powers. I used glacial radiance. I did a little bit of damage to them. I healed us kind of a little bit with temporary HP. And I now attack twice. Uh, 14 plus to 26 to hit. 26 hit. And uh, 18 plus. God, so close again, um, but not. So two hits. Uh, so with this, I will use a... Level one and a level three smite. Getting getting real low on spell slots here, guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, so let's see. That is uh uh roll the 69. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, nice. So plus nice. 24 would be 89 uh 93. So a total of 93 damage uh with a first and a third level uh smite. So you sprint after Grax as he uh, rushes Leaf. Uh, you release your ice powers that, and the, like the ice kind of starts to overtake and like freeze the plants that are kind of covering around you. And you let off this glacial uh, radiance as ice kind of pushes out from you, uh, kind of freezing over uh, Leaf to give her this like radiant uh, icy shield that is kind of protecting her giving her those temporary hit points and kind of washing over Grax as you see like little icicles like kind of start to form uh, in his cuts you then go to strike at him two times as again you kind of feel like this hard uh, interior as you're striking on him uh, but still able to kind of damage him you see after your second strike that he kind of uh starts to like roll his shoulder a little bit and you can see the skin kind of starting to like peel off and you're seeing like this icy like exoskeleton uh underneath his skin um, Leaf, it is your turn. Yeah, you're not the only one who has ice abilities, Lizard. Um, but you know what I have that you don't have? My mind still intact. Ha! Wait, that doesn't make a difference. You can't actually don't have feelings anymore. I don't know why I'm goading you. Um, Leaf, go ahead and roll your 1d4 
Um, mm-hmm. But you are also starting your turn within 10 feet of Grax. So he is going to do some damage to you. Oh, you didn't I? Shouldn't, shouldn't I have taken that too? Uh, you didn't start your turn in his round. He ran away from you. Oh, okay. cool. I got yeah. another three points to heal that are going to get taken away from me. <laughs> hey, so I get that too. Ahead. Thank you. Uh, that is 10 fire damage. Okay. But 10 HP. So you're welcome. Yes. So I will take that off of there. All right. Um, and then it is your turn. Okay. So I'm going to use my my massive whip at him. Massive whip. My massive whip. I'm so good at it. Um, I assume the mechanic <laughs> works the same as my thorn whip, which would be a spell yeah. attack. So I'm going to yeah. do that real quick. See if I hit him. Does a 27 hit. That it does. Thank God. Okay. And now I will roll the damage, which is a 2d12. Uh, 23 points of damage. Hey-o. To Hell him. Yeah, dude. I slap him right across the face. Like, watch out, watch out. <laughs> With your massive whip. With my massive whip. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea that a massive whip makes a watch out noise. It does. I've obviously never heard a whip before. That's how my whip sounds. Which, yeah. I don't know about yours, but that's how mine sounds. Well, it depends. If it's if it's me, I would say it's like, <laughs> but if it's Chandler Bing, then it's wapow. Yeah, wapow. My whip goes skirt, skirt, skirt. From Friends. Whip. You don't know that yes. bit. I don't. Um, Friends is not my favorite. Yeah. There was a whole it's, bit where he everyone was making whip noises, and he was like, "Yeah, wapow," and everyone's like, "What?" That's oh, funny. I kind of remember that one. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty popular. Yeah. Oh, his okay. friends pretty popular. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's bad, yeah, but it's, it's popular. Friends, Friends was good. I don't really watch Friends. I'm not, I'm not going to protect that. Show. Out of all the sitcoms that have been popular, I feel like it deserved its popularity. Yeah, it's all right. Of the it was, time, it was a it was a moment. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Do you think like Friends deserves its popularity more than Big Bang? Yes. Yes. All, all right. That's how that's about all suits? I that's all I needed. <laughs> Does Friends deserve its popularity more than Suits? I don't yes. feel like Suits had the popularity that Friends had. No, absolutely no. not. For some reason, now it does, which is weird. Yeah, that'd be like I if I, that'd I be like if like them. thirty years from now we get like like we blow up. Get in the yeah. get in the get in the Discord, <laughs> Suit lovers. Show Chrissy no, she's wrong. Don't. I'm gonna make don't. a whole channel just about Suits. Yeah, it's gonna be called Only Suits. I thought you said get in the Discord, sweet lovers. That's what I thought you said. Sweet lovers. I'm like sweet hey, lovers. Sweet, hey, sweet lovers, getting. Get, that's how it feels. That's what I thought like you suits. said. I was like, yeah. what? Everyone that likes suit is my sweet, sweet lover. Okay. Oh, I Jesus. just realized. That <laughs> is Zoe aware of this? <laughs> oh. oh yeah, we didn't. So even you know did that. have exposed wood this whole time. <laughs> the whole time. Well, the it wasn't wood, time? but we knew the whole it. time. Nice. My massive whip. <laughs> <laughs> well, pow. Yeah. Um, okay. Is there anything else you wanted to do, Leaf? Uh, how is Catan looking standing next to me? Uh, he looks oh, like he has 127 out of 222 hit points. So not bad. great. <laughs> That's he has slightly more than half his HP. Okay, I'm going but to probably give still him... more than Boral has at max. <laughs> yeah, no. Has, has... Has Boral or Awen taken any damage up there floating around or they're, uh, they're no. Boral took a stalagmite to the face. Oh, Wait, how much right. damage was when that again? Boreled. I don't bad. think you ever told me. Uh, I, no, I I told everybody. Shh, don't but say I don't anything, remember. Brian. It was, it was 30. 30. Did you not take the damage off of your AP? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he got distracted. <laughs> no, I told Okay, fine, I got distracted. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, it's your favorite player, Matt, and welcome to this week's middle break. So this weekend, it is Ollie's 11th birthday. Now, of of course, all of you know, Oliver or Ollie is Christy and Brian's adorable son who you've heard plenty of times on this podcast. So make sure to give him a big rip it up it's your birthday. And you know what I got to tell you? He had he talked. He called me the other day. He said he said, Matt, you know, you know what I really want for my birthday this year? And I said, what's that, pal? And he said, 
I really want all of the listeners for your podcast to subscribe and rate and review to your podcast wherever they get their podcasts from. Uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, whatever podcatcher they use, just tell them to go there, hit the subscribe button, download all the episodes, leave a five-star review, and then to write a little synopsis about why they like the podcast so that other people might come across it and think that they would enjoy the podcast too. And I'm like, wow, that's a, yeah, okay, I, I can see. He's well, Matt, I, there's more things I want. I was like, wow, more? Okay, well, what else do you want? He said, you know, Matt, it would really warm my heart if people knew that they should follow you on all your social media platforms, like on Twitter at New Crits or on Instagram, Facebook and TikTok at New Crits on the block. You know, they need to know that you post there all the time, pretty much every single day. It's their best place to find out everything that's going on with the show, with the cast members, things like my birthday, Matt. That's how they're going to find out that it's my birthday is from posts like this. And they need to know that the best way to help your podcast grow, Matt, is by sharing those posts, right? They should share them to their stories or their feeds or tag people in them because you only are growing through word of mouth. And even though it's a small thing, it really goes a long way for the podcast. I'm like, man, kid, you're 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 pretty insightful. And he says, do they understand, Matt? Do they understand that you have a discord for all things new crits, but not all things new crits? Like they could go there and of course talk about the show and talk to the cast members and other fans. But if they just want a place that they can go and hang out in, you have space for that too. Matt, what I've noticed is that it's a really safe, inclusive space that you've built up over the last few years. And I know you're really proud of the community that you have garnered from it. And you know, if people aren't part of that community yet, well, what the heck are they waiting for? And he looks at me and goes, but Matt, the, the problem is I feel like people are going to want to help, but they won't know where to go. Do you, do you know how to get to all the places that I just mentioned. And I said, yeah, from our link tree, of course, L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash Nukrits on the block. will get you to all the places that I just mentioned in some places that I didn't have time to mention. L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash Nukrits on the block. It is your central hub for all things new crits. So really, Ollie kind of hit the nail on the head for all of this here. He's become quite wise in his old age. Let's get you back into this week's episode. As you know, we come new episodes every single Monday. That ain't stopping anytime soon. So let's get you back into this one. We will see you next week. Until then, be safe out there. Be excellent to each other. We love y'all. Happy birthday, Oliver. Bye bye. Okay. Anyway, if you're all finished, I'm going to cast <laughs> Healing Word on Katan. What are you casting it at? Uh, level one, but because I'm in my my defensive mode, my, all my heals are empowered by a 2d8. Mm. So let oh, me damn. roll that to add to that real quick. That's extremely useful for low-level spells. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to just use those. Please do. You get 12 points, Ben. I won't lie. I've been thinking of this entire time. I think Christy has, like, healing stuff. Oh, yeah. that's. <laughs> I don't know, know what I've it is. I've been saving because... it for the, the big boy stuff. This is the big boy stuff. All right. Uh, Catan is um, alive. Thank you. Great. These Is it normal for these vines to tingle? Yes, let them in. Let them do their thing. <laughs> okay. I've seen a lot of, a lot of animes, and I'm not totally comfortable with where this is going. If you resist, it can go that way. So you really got to relax. Wait. <laughs> okay, trust me. If I resist, it does do that? Yes. Katan starts struggling. <laughs> oh, of course. Ew, <laughs> gross. I retract all the vines and take away the hit points. Don't be gross with them. They come back to me when they're done. I, I don't want to have to hear their thoughts of what they did to you. Wait, you, can t you know what happens with plants? The these ones, yes, I can hear their thoughts. But only these ones. Yes. Okay, good. He, uh, Grax is going to take his <laughs> second legendary action um, and stab at Leaf with his ice spear. No. Hey, stop that. Oh, can I, can I get away from him? <laughs> I want to do that. You can, but he would take an attack of opportunity against you because he okay. doesn't. So one, you one, one way, and then he can just follow you if he wishes to. So one way or I'll the quit. other, he's going to attack you. 22 to hit. That will hit. Leaf, you said your AC is 18 now? 
Yeah. That's what Jake said. Yeah, it's bumped up to 18. I can't help you, unfortunately. Um, Great. But I can take an opportunity of attack on him. Yeah, do that. So real quick before he does that, because that happens before the attack. I rolled another 18 plus. Um, And I'm not going to use any smites right now because I don't have any left. And I rolled a one and a three. Woo. Um, So four plus 12. So 16. I do 16 damage to him. Okay. Yeah, take that. Don't hurt my friend. I need her to keep me alive. (laughs) (laughs) Leaf, you are going to be taking... It's going to be a total of 31 damage. It's going to be 24 points of uh, ice damage and six points of uh, piercing damage. That makes any difference to you. Okay. So 31 total, you said? Yeah, 31 total. Well, there goes my temporaries. Uh, As he stabs into your mech suit uh, after Katan takes a strike at him, uh, before he's able to do that, he shrugs it off and stabs in to the mech to uh, stabbing you uh, in the leg. Uh, Awen, it is your turn. Uh, Christy, you're going to have to roll a DC 15 con- concentration check. Oh, Stop yeah. Stop it. If you absorb if elements, does, it'll be less. If he doesn't remember, he de- he doesn't get to. I can't, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use all my spells on <laughs> absorbing uh, just, the elements. I need to get away from him is what I need to do. I don't think you can, but. (laughs) I can and I will. All right. Well, nat 20, baby. Nice. Plus two for a 22. Uh, Okay. That fairy fire is really going a long way. I can do this. It sure is because I I get four attacks now with advantage. (laughs) Uh, Awen, it is your turn. Yeah. So I start raining down arrows on this dude. uh, And I do all the cool things I said. So so I start blasting. Huh? What'd you say? Did you hear the cool thing I said? No. What was the cool thing you said? I said, I could do this all day. Oh, oh. Captain America oh, style. Would, yeah. Oh. I just needed that acknowledged. Thank you. Okay. okay. Yes. Ag- Go ag- ahead. It wasn't that cool. Okay. It is cool. Captain right. America is cool. Here we go. So I, I can now use my swift quiver as my bonus action, giving me two more shots. So I get four attacks total, all with advantage. So the first one is a 33 to hit. Second one yeah. is a 26 to hit. Third attack is a 22 to hit. And the last attack, come on, give me 120 here. Nope, is a 26 to hit. I believe all of those will hit. Yeah, those all hit. Cool. One, two, three, four. Whoa. Uh, so 67 points of damage. Which wasn't great, nice. but not bad. Yeah. Still Matt, good. you should think That's about you, using your sharpshooter on on him. And oh, I, I completely forgot I had that. <laughs> yeah. Well, because he has low AC. I mean, relatively No, I, low. I, I know. I just forgot I had it. I was going to tell you beforehand, but I was like, if I tell him this and he rolls like 422s and none of them hit, he's going to be mad at me. <laughs> no, I just forgot I had that uh, ability. That's okay. We're dealing damage. I'm saving. I'm saving it. I'm saving it. You, it's unlimited. No, no, no. I'm saving it. <laughs> I'm saving it. You don't know. It's a I'm limited saving resource. It. Yeah, it's I'm saving it. Ability. So again, I'm just up there dodging stalagmites. Just plink, 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 plink. Just still. Can they turn into stalactites when they fly off the ground? No, they're just flying icicles. Not if, not if they don't hit. Not if they don't grab onto something above. Mm. True, true. So the one that hit. Boral was a stalactite then. And it was a stalactite <laughs> in Boral for a very quick, brief moment. For, yes. for a brief moment. <laughs> yes. But in like they in were reverse. one for a moment. Because <laughs> the, the pointy end was in me and the, the, the yeah. dull end was pointy <laughs> away. Rever- a reverse stalactite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so I'm just, I'm just peppering Grax with just arrows upon arrows upon arrows. He doesn't even know what to do with it. Grax really does not know uh, what to do with that because he cannot fly um Boral it is your turn um from what you can see Grax uh and from from the air he is bleeding pretty heavily um 
but you cannot tell that he has this like hard uh like exoskeleton underneath that skin. Yeah, he has uh, like, like he has like do. ice wolverine. Yeah, he's like ice wolverine. Is he is he like, like ice he's wolverine? He's like ice he's like ice wolverine, guys. Oh, I think he's like ice wolverine. Um yeah, I'm running out of spell slots here. Um <laughs> just gonna hit him with lightning bolt again. Okay. Um that's a dexterity saving throw. That is correct. That is a one plus fifteen, so sixteen. He has a fifteen to his dex saving throw. Yes, sir. Uh that fails. Thank God. Um, but I rolled really shit on the damage, so you only take twenty three. And it is his turn. Um, and he is going to take uh two attacks on Leaf because he is actually landing hits at this point. That is twenty four. To hit. Yes, he hits. And then his second attack is a 25. Okay. Uh, the first attack is 36 damage, and the second one is 32. So that's 68 points of damage. What kind of damage? Um, so it's ice and fire because he's hitting you with both weapons. Cool. I will absorb one of them. What, do you want to do ice or fire? Which one was more? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which one cut deeper? I'm assuming probably the 36. Yeah. I just which would also be fair because you wouldn't know which one was more, so you would probably just do it on the first one. 19 points of damage for the uh, fire. Or no, he always strikes with the spear first, so that would be ice. Okay, so I take 19 points then. So it's 19 and 32? So, well, no, it's it's 19 ice damage and then 18 piercing for the spear. So you would take half of the 19. Okay. So okay, that would so be... so how much do I take altogether? So just take nine points away from uh, the 68. 68 minus... Nine. Nine? Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Well, because I need to figure out her con saving throws. Oh, which means oh. you got to do. Uh, He's taking it upon himself. <laughs> Thirteen yeah. and a, um, uh, sixteen. Right. So roll two, roll one, and then roll one again. You got to be at a thirteen, then a sixteen. There's an eight. Is that? That's Total? an eight. Doesn't matter because even with yeah, you plus four, so you fail. I mean, That's yeah. the end of it. Never mind. Okay, you no. lose fairy fire. Oh no! Good well, job I'm, for being so on top of it. Well, it was really good. <laughs> I was an ass after, but I didn't think about doing the math. Of well, that's why I was doing the math ahead of time because you got to split it up into every hit. Did you get the total down for how much damage yes. you took, Chrissy? Yes, okay. I took it, and I'm not looking great. Oh, um, Katan, <laughs> it is uh, your turn now. You have Grax in front of you and Leaf, who's like vines are starting to like peel away uh, from her, kind of leaving her exposed in this vine mech. Exposed. What would you like to do? Uh, Leaf, get out of there. I, I can't help you. I'm really kind of totally tapped out here. It sucks being melee. Why would anyone do this to themselves? <laughs> well, normally I handle it for you. Um, I mean, I actually appreciate you taking some of the, the heat off of me. Um, I didn't want to. I wanted the heat to be all on you. <laughs> uh, I'm very quickly thumbing through my fifth level spells. Nope, that doesn't do anything. I have raised dead. I might be needing that. Kill soon. him. Fight <laughs> him, please. Uh, let's see. No, Katan. Nope, nope, that's it. It's uh it's pretty much uh pretty much all damaging abilities now. Yeah. That should um, be your first clue. Uh well, um, can you make the purple thing come back? That was really helpful. No, because I used all my absorb elements. <laughs> so no. No. Oh. Okay, well then I use his, I use my vow on him. Um, once again, giving me advantage. It's fine, I'll just do it. Uh, I'm not, that's not a hit on you. I'm, I'm really appreciative for all that you've done Please, so Please, I can't take any more hits on me. So I once again have advantage. Uh, and two attacks. I rolled two 16s. Okay. Uh, that's a hit. 28. That hits. 
Yep. And the second one, another 16. Wild. Okay. Um, I don't know if I'm ever going to crit this guy. I guess I should just probably try to put an end to this. So I'm going to use both of my fifth uh, level smite slots. I was saving those for crits, but I just can't seem to do it. And I need to kill him. And then Jake, I'm going to go ahead and use my glacial smite, which is 68, but he halves only that. Do you want me to just roll yeah. 3d8 and make the math easy? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I don't think it would make too much of a difference at this point. Uh, so that's 19d8, and then you don't have to have anything. Uh, plus 24. Did you say, I'm sorry, how, how many d8 did you say? 19? 19. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm using two fifth level smite slots. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, I that is 124 damage. damage. Ooh. Yeah, I rolled, God, how many? Seven, six, five, eight, one, two, five, eight, eight, five, eight, two, two, six, three, six, five, five, eight. <laughs> you sound like a weird uh, dial robot. <laughs> I know. Numbers. You sound like the uh, TTS from Twitch. When it's now we know to, like, his social say, like, security number, guys. Words. Yeah. <laughs> that was way too many numbers uh, for a social. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was my a social lot of, is God, five, 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 five. You look kind of you. You look around the battlefield and you see like leaf like kind of bleeding out um, in front of you. You look up to see Boral, who I, I'm pretty sure you're not looking too great yourself, right, Boral? I'm, I'm not bad. You're not. You only got hit once. Yeah. He's just a wizard. <laughs> Um, and then Awen's just kind of, it, there's not even slag. Mike's flying and he's still doing barrel rolls. <laughs> yep. Just, just, <laughs> just show taking off. a nap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's just laying down, shooting the arrows, not even looking. Uh. Um, and you know that you have to, to finish this fight because you still have um, more pressing matters to attend to as you put all of your strength into these last two strikes, as you go and stab, you can finally feel yourself pierce through that ice like exoskeleton as you shove it into his back, as you see his whole back, body- His back like, chest. His back chest. As you see his whole body like kind of arc up and like uh, obviously wince in pain and you rip it out and then stab right back in that same spot. As Leaf, you see this soul wood sore pierce through his uh, the front of his chest as you can kind of start to see that white starting to leave his eyes. And for just a moment, you hear, thank you. And then... Katan, you start to, as you start to pull your blade out, you start to see like fire spewing out from the stab wound. Can I have you guys make a dexterity saving throw as he, you see the body and this ice starting to crackle and the flame starting to bubble under his skin as it is about to <laughs> explode. Yeah, you uh, never with, put ice in fire, it explodes. <laughs> as it is about to explode. Good luck, Christy. This is the one that's been rolling better for me. Do I get any pluses? Oh, boy. <laughs> I didn't do that great either. How about a 10? I assume I get a plus four, right? Yeah. yeah. 10. <laughs> how, how about a 13? How about a 13? <laughs> I thought you were going to say 14. Uh, nope. <laughs> I wish. No, you're, you're kind of just underneath it. Um, oh, God. Well... And I, can't, and I can't use... Well, I could use my reaction. I have my shield master. Would you let me use that, Jake? Uh, Yeah, I, you, you got your... Okay, so your turn, It was your turn now. So 16? Okay, so yeah, you, you would pass. Oh, thank God. Cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bud. I can't do anything for you. I'm sorry, but I can at least take some of this off of myself. Oh, I am now rolls. Ash. All high rolls. Uh, 42 damage. Well, uh, fire I'm down. Damage. And Ooh. I take zero damage. <laughs> Leaf gets uh, shot across like this plateau, like sliding to the edge of the mountain, almost, almost flying off the edge, but uh, kind of like her head is dangling off the side of uh, the mountain. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna fly down to her, 
I'm gonna cast my uh, my healing firebolt. Okay. Uh, I you you don't have to roll for someone that's on the ground and yeah, yeah not, you can, not, <laughs> not not enough uh, fire going on with her already. Got it. <laughs> that's the good. That's the green. The good. The good fire. It's green. Uh, oh wait. Did you, hey, Christy, did you use absorb elements on the ice or the fire? It was on the ice. Ah, mm-hmm. shit. Because it was a yeah. first strike that did more damage. Yep. All right. All right. Okay, that's an automatic success then, so. Yep. Uh, well, he, well you can roll one. your, how much you healing you did. I, yep. I did, 21. Okay. Whew. Oh, thank you, Laurel. <laughs> <laughs> I, I reach out and, and help her stand up. You doing okay? I wouldn't touch that. It's all on fire. <laughs> oh, oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, he's no, flamed he on. He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> now it's just more on fire. I'm like, ow, ow. Please stop touching me. Um, a- Awen lands J- next to you all. Why didn't you dodge those? Are you talking I- to me? You're talking to her? Honestly, everyone. You know what I just <laughs> Why are you realized? talking like that? <laughs> That's how we always talk. No, when he's like sorry. This. Hold on. And then my, 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 the wind around me calms and quells. Sorry. Um, I said, why did you dodge all those things? Didn't you see I tried? I tried to <laughs> yes. absorb them. I said, do a barrel roll. And you looked at me and I know, and I, I know, I, did. And, I know in your, in your head, you thought I'm going to do a barrel roll instead. I thought <laughs> and, I did a thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, you should just listen to me. Well, I don't want to do I, your thing. I want to do my thing. <laughs> Katan peeks out from behind his shield. I, I dodged them. It was part of it. Getting hit was part of it. Oh, yes. I see. You know what? This is the first time we've all used our powers at the same time. Oh, I'll yeah. Never do it. I'll never do it again. <laughs> yeah. How's yeah. that work out for you, Leaf? I, I tried to be a tough guy like Katan, and it really hurts real bad. Oh, yeah. In no, my, it, it, it hurts every time. I just. In my everywhere. <laughs> Um, Jake, is there any, like anything left of Grax? Like I, I like a tooth, skin, a body one part, little claw. A, yeah, tooth, yeah. There's a claw. there's some t- there's some teeth, some claws <laughs> cool. around. Um, I I lean over and pick up like I think what body a, parts uh, you want. I think I pick up a um like a tooth and a claw, a tooth and a claw. Tooth and a claw. <laughs> you put on a necklace and... I was thinking about making some <laughs> sick-ass drawer, jewelry out of this. <laughs> Hell yeah. A little earring. <laughs> He's an earring guy now, guys. Oh, great. But Just only one, one on giant one dragonborn claw out of my ear. <laughs> it clanks around on through, your shoulder you pads through all your the nose. time. Like, a, a, like right through the bridge of your nose. Ew. That'll yeah. hurt. Well, yeah, it would hurt. But yeah, so I know I, I pick up a like a tooth and a claw of his, and I just kind of look at the uh, the mess I made. <laughs> I didn't do it for you, but you're welcome, nonetheless. As I look at his, I guess a trophy. I guess I'm kind of collecting a trophy. Well, Katan's a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> You open their box of a bunch of teeth. Yeah. Because I right. think at one point you said you did collect teeth because I think you took one of Kyle's teeth back in arc two and oh. you punched a tooth out. You did. Did I, did I say that? <laughs> I think you, I, I vaguely uh, remember you. <laughs> somebody you kept said something. That you, t- you collected people's teeth or some shit. Like, I think it was more of a teeth. joke. <laughs> I, forgot, <but laughs> I forgot that I had Kyle's tooth in there. Like, oh. Why do you keep collecting teeth? Why is that a thing you do? I don't know. I actually forgot I did this. Hmm. Well, that's concerning, and we'll figure this out later. <laughs> we'll unpack before that dis- later. Before I dispel my like, I mech think I think thing. it got dispelled for you. <laughs> Did it? Does it drop if I die? I would assume that we probably <laughs> would say that when you go unconscious, it would probably would drop. <laughs> yeah. David. 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 All right. Well, I'm hurt real bad. Do you guys want to take a short rest? I'm assuming before. I don't know if you guys used all yours from last time. I literally have. Okay, guys, <laughs> listen. I have zero spells left. I do not have my vow. I do not have my hexblades curse. 
I had used the healing potion that was granted to me. I have no hit dice left to roll. I have five you don't have any points hit- of lay on hands. Yikes. That is what I have. And I have like cleansing touches and divine senses and stuff. But that is what I have. Yeah, I I use my arcane recovery. I'm almost out of every spell. Luck points are basically gone. I mean, it's not looking good for me. We need to regroup, guys. I feel fine. <laughs> it's like, I'm fine. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm good. great. <laughs> um, I, I don't know how we're going to do this. I, I am completely tapped out. I have no reserve left. I can barely keep myself upright under my own weight and we'll do it as a team. Yeah, okay, that's a delusional crazy thought. Um, Team powers. I mean, can't we, Boral, can't we all go into like your little tent and <gasps> hide for a rest? Yeah, that one. Is that a thing we can do? My, my concern is, is how much time we have. We, we can't fight her in our current state and we, we can't take eight hours to sleep. Well, we have to. Do we? We can't fight her if we're like this. I mean, as Awen have said, we're practically gods. Clearly, we can do something. Thank you. What are you going to be able to do? I oh, me personally? No, no, absolutely mm. nothing. I, I'm going right. to. That's what I mean. We can't. I, no, you. One of you needs to solve this problem somehow. <laughs> I tried. It didn't work very well. As you guys are debating the issue, uh, Boral, you start to hear this like murmuring sound uh, coming from the kind of flames that are still ignited from Grax's explosion. Uh, And as you kind of like turn your head to like hear what, like try try to tune into what is being said, you hear a voice of Fuma's calling out to you. I'm not recording. Oof, that would have been bad.